Next, a judge who travels the boroughs of New York City seeking out the finest of food. She calls herself Restaurant Girl and writes about her gastronomic journeys. This is Danielle Freeman. What are your feelings about figs? Is this something that's on your culinary radar? I feel like you guys had figs for me. I couldn't be here on a better day. I love figs. And I love Sierra figs, so I'm glad they're here. It's a very sensual food, and it'll be interesting to see what they're doing. I think I'm just tasting a little too much of the fig marmalada on top. I think if you did a little bit thinner, or it had it been a little bit thicker, a piece of trout. Perhaps you meant to say that it overwhelmed the taste of the trout. That's what I was about to say. So you agree with me? Yes. Oh, that's never going to happen again. <laughs> Doesn't some of this stuff sound great? It's um, not very dry for the last <laughs> it's, it's not what you expect, is it? Hi, Floyd. I'm sorry. Razzled him. <laughs> <laughs> this is my first drive through date, so how's it going? So far, so good. Let's try the food. It's like a healthy hush puppy. You're a healthy hush puppy. Oh. <laughs> Even you don't look sexy eating your Caesar salad like that. And that really said something. Mine was burnt. Mine was actually See? burnt. Okay, the ginger tweel on top of my pina cotta from Naomi was actually burnt. And it, it just sort of infiltrated every bite thank that you. I took. Thank it was you. like ruined. But again, that's not even my biggest problem. The, my biggest problem, again, is it was like eating a puzzle. I love the little bits of pineapple. I think that's a really lovely touch to tease out the sweetness. This is such a gorgeous looking dish. Wow, it's delicious. I really wasn't expecting so much flavor from a volute. She wanted hope. She wanted hope that she could fill that craving with something healthy that was still nourishing and nutritious and at the end of the day delicious. And he failed that challenge miserably. He did, he didn't give her bacon, cheese, or a burger. Mm -hmm. None of those things were met here. Well, thank God you had a fryer because those fritters were dynamite. Thank you. And the name of the book is Try This, Traveling the Globe Without Leaving the Table by Danielle Freeman. Welcome to Good Day New York. Thank you for having me. So where, where'd you come up with this concept? Well, we all get in a dining rut the best of us. So I wrote this book because I wanted us all to get out of our comfort zones and find new favorite foods and dishes to discover. So just because you can't go to Thailand or Vietnam doesn't mean you can't eat like you're there. And you know, we all order our Monday turkey sandwich, our Tuesday ham and cheese. <laughs> well, the next time lunch rolls around, Try one of these salads All instead. All right, give us an idea what okay, you have. Okay, so my point is, go out to eat, right? You can yeah. literally eat like you're in Japan for lunch. What's this? Now, this looks like Greg's If Greg wants yeah. something juicier, he can get a Vietnamese bolo glock salad. <laughs> I know that you have so much more to tell us, but it's all in this book. It's, it's called Try this. this. Try This Vietnamese Hoagie. Okay. It's you awesome. You wipe your mouth. Yeah. Daniel Freeman, thank it. you so much. Have a good day, New York. Bye. The food critic tonight is Daniel Freeman. She is the food critic of the New York Daily News. She is joining me for dinner. I will see everything, including what she thinks, the expressions on her face. He should be excited about the dish he's about to give us. Feels like he's throwing the chef under the bus. <laughs> I'm just having a hard time understanding what the theme here is. I couldn't very well go on a tour by myself, so I brought along restaurant girl, Danielle Freeman. What made you start the restaurant girl column? Some people read books, I read menus. Well, how do you pick restaurants to go to for your column? I usually pick by chef or buzz around it, something that's new and different, seasonal, something someone's really passionate about. But these aren't your average desserts here at Varietal. You're using things like mushrooms, eggplants, well, celery root, are you crazy? You know, do you wake up one night and think like, oh, well, that'd be so good with a Mushroom. Well, I always keep a pad and pen next to my bed. The Van Leeuwen brothers epitomize the term global, which means they pull from the best local resources and the best global resources. So where do you find the best coffee? Colombia. Where do you find the best hazelnuts? Italy. They actually have a secret ingredient in their apple pie. I like to put a little bit of Angostura bitters. Genius. You're thrown right into the kitchen, and you're gonna watch the line. You get to watch the chef making your meal. It's really a show. That is dinner as theater. It doesn't get more theatrical than that. They literally burn themselves in your memory, these meals. Um, they're just dazzling. And what is so unique about this is he doesn't repeat one ingredient the entire meal. I loved it. It was great. Thank you, Iron Chef. Thank you, Iron Chef. Next course, please.